Bam! Hey kids, welcome back. You're probably not used to seeing this workbench top. I basically bought it, went up to Menards and bought a board and screwed it down over my old one because my old one was nasty. And I didn't put Yoda down just because what I'm going to show you, I wanted the white background. So this is just a quickie follow-up video to the retrieval tug modifications I did. I did a video uh, last week, I think, about I was going to cut off the top, uh, 3D print a bunch of stuff that made it look like the nitro tug, and put in a servo-controlled winch and a uh, radio-controlled water cannon just for fun because I was bored. And I also did a couple of their little tricks. So this is what the retrieval tug used to look like. Poof. Now, this is what it looks like. Wow, not very interesting. Let me take the phone off. All right, so here we go. Quite different, all right? So what we got, I left the, from here up to here is the original zip kits, um, kit, if you will. And we, uh, I basically took my Dremel tool and I cut the old wheel ha house off, the white one that you just saw in the picture. I cut it off and I took the whole top and flipped it upside down on a belt sander and sanded it flush. And so basically we had a barge <laughs> and then I 3D redesigned the, uh, the wheelhouse that was on the nitro tug. The nitro tug actually goes from like here to here with the wheelhouse and the shelf and all that stuff. Uh, this one I wanted a little bit more stout because I needed room in the back for the winch and my tow buoy for when I use it, okay? So this is still 3S, everything's still good. We did the ropes on it, we airbrushed some graph, not graphics, but some weathering on there. There's our water cannon, which works very, very well. Uh, what I ended up having to do with the water cannon, like I said in the other video, I started with an eight millimeter hole here and tapered to a four, and it still went like this. So then I took a piece of narrow tubing, fuel uh, nitro fuel line, and stuck it in there, and that, increase the pressure now the bit shoots like 20 feet and i'll show you that in the kitty pool here in a minute um and then we did salvage from the original build our dwarf pirate the 3d print dwarf pirate that i did i didn't paint him cool or anything like that um the smokestack's non-functional obviously because this is an electric boat this is our true retrieval boat um these led lights work all four of them in all four corners uh, the servo winch does work. I'll throw the battery in here and show you guys that in a minute. I did a different radar array on the top, and we put Yoda in there. My buddy Chris says it's cross-eyed. Probably is. It looks like JJ Roto Geek. And we also put in a pirate driver um, and the winch and just the, the ground effects or deck effects and some more ropes. And there you go. The backside... We've got the, what I call the trailer hitch, but this just kind of adds a little bit of leverage for the towing of, uh, I really doubt that I'm ever gonna use that winch for uh, pulling a boat in. It's just more for fun than anything. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. And the tires that I put on are TPU, so they are technically kind of like a rubber. Um, so they're kind of real, they're bumpers, they're real. I made them a little bit bigger than the nitro tug. Uh, so I did leave the bottom stained like that and there you go bob's your uncle very cool so i'm gonna slap a battery in here turn on the radio get it functional and i'll show you uh the winch and the lights and all that good stuff and then we'll take it around to my daughter's kiddie pool and i'll show you the water cannon hang on all right so we got everything booted up and there as you can see are our running lights these leds which on the bow are usually about surface level or maybe just above and the rear the stern lights are below the water line kind of cool but we do have all four of these do light up very cool um just like the nitro tug that's an idea that i came up with for the nitro tug i just 3d printed these little lens housing jobbies and stuck some leds in there no big deal um and then everything obviously the rudder down here in our prop that's all good this ESC dings huh, 
kind of weird. Anyway, so, and now I'm going to show you the winch. Okay, so if I roll my switch backward, you'll see the ball drop. And then we go up. But what I am gonna do, I am gonna put a switch in here, a three-way switch. It is kind of neat having a variable speed on there, but it is insanely hard to find the stop center. There's no way you could do it if it's out in the water. Um, so I'll either put a detent, like I said before, in there, or I will uh, just put a switch because it's really, it's not that fast anyway. So if we roll this pot backwards, if we roll it forwards, See, it's very hard to find the center. There we go. Now, if we hit this button right here for channel four, it activates our water cannon. Oh, <laughs> there was some water in there. So let's go over to the kiddie pool real quick and I will show you how the water cannon works. All right, now we're in my daughter's kiddie pool. I still have the ballast very rearward, okay? Because I like that because if I go to push the boats in, I like my bow up. A little bit but anyway so what we're going to do is fire our water cannon which is right there look at that it goes all the way over there <laughs> how funky is that off on so once the tubes primed it works pretty well come over here all right and we can, the cannon is movable. <laughs> Why not, right? Again, this is what happens when JJ Roto Geek gets bored. There you go. There is our water cannon. In case anything catches on fire. So we'll just go around the pool, do it one handed. It's what we're do when we're too lazy to go to the river. <laughs> All right, kids, there is our new and improved rescue boat. I also did a triple layer on the bumpers in the front. Uh, it's a double layer. Uh, so yeah, it'll work well. So until next time, keep shine side up. Bye.